G'day and welcome back to Duxel Gaming and Pine Co Farm. Yes, we are back continuing on with this Seasons series or converted over to Seasons series here on Stevie's wonderful map. All right, let's get straight into it. We've progressed now to day four of spring. Uh, we've finished ploughing in the fields that need to be ploughed and we are now ready for seeding. We have a ground temperature of five degrees, ambient air temperature seven degrees. So that means we can start looking at planting some crop now. I also do need to go and have a look at the sheep and fix the sheep up because the sheep are a bit hungry. Uh, we had two sheep die overnight actually from hunger. Um, oops. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's have a look over here. So we were talking about the fact that we we're going to try and do soybeans um, as our primary crop, which is fine. Uh, we, we could do that. But we can't plant soybeans yet. So what I was thinking about doing was having a look, uh, let's have a look in here. Um, I, I'm wondering whether we might be actually better off initially, we might just do some canola. Canola's got a fairly good price as well. Um, so I'm thinking what we might do is we might just do canola uh, for, this, for this run through. So let's, um, let's just do that. All right, decision made. We might do two fields of, of soybean, we'll see how things go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have one one uh, field being done by hired hand and I'm going to have the other field being done by myself. Oh no, everyone says. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy over here. We're going to fill him up with seed and fertiliser and then take him over to field one and we're going to get field one underway. All right, we've got a battle with the uh, the fill points. Right, start the seeds. Okay, and well, that was nice and easy this time. There we go. So that's all done. Let's take this guy over and get him started, and then we'll come back, grab the other fence, and we'll get started on field two. Need a little, um, what do they call it, a culvert go under the road or whatever to um, minimise the traffic we have to deal with. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy sorted over here and he'll just get this all planted out for us. Now what we need to do is make sure we change our uh, seed type while we're planting because the moment we're set to soybeans. Um, but uh, we'll fix that. Right, so let's um, unfold that. Let's change our seed to canola. And there we go, we're all good to go there. Okay, we're just gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna set the course. So course generation, field one, headland. Uh, no, I don't need a headland again, so that's fine. Uh, auto for that, it's fine. Um, bum, 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 bum. That should be good. Here we go back and first waypoint, and we're just going to drive course. And he should just miraculously get started. Uh, up his cruising speed. There we have it. Right, he's off and seating. Excellent. Let's just check the map to make sure. Always like to just double check to make sure it's all happening as we plan. Fertilization is showing, which is fine. And we are planted. Excellent. Happy with that. All right, let's go grab the other fence and get to work ourselves. All right. Combine some of Oh, actually, I wanted to put this away. Still got a problem with this not working. I don't know why. Hmm. I really don't know why that's not working. I don't know if it's seasons orientated or not, but that's really bothering me now. Um, I'll leave him here, out of the way. All right, we'll test that a little bit later. Um, let's get the seeding done. 
Alright, I'm gonna go over and we'll grab the Great we'll grab the Great Plains or we'll use the Stara. Um we'll use the Great Plains. Okay. Alright. And then we'll go off and get him filled up. See all this stuff left in the middle of my farm. Got to avoid it all the way. Alright. See if this will work as smoothly as last time. Eating. Thank you. Fertilizing. There we go. Nice. Okay. Off to field two we go. Okay, first things first, we're going to unfold and we're going to change our seed to canola. There we go. Now, uh, what is it? I think it's, yes it is. There we go. I'm going to put the planting guide down just so I can try and do it a little bit straighter. Let's um, turn it on, lower it, and let's go. I'll put the lights on just so I can see it a bit better. Not make much difference, but a little bit. All right. So then, once we once we actually have this going, and we've got the guide here on the side, I can actually drive out of the cave if I want to, because I can sort of all of that along nicely and we shouldn't miss too much of the field but um we'll just wait and see how things go so i hope everyone is doing well we're doing marvelously here um it's nice to be back in a way uh yeah, our state here has, has finally started opening up um, in relation to COVID restrictions. That we're all out of lockdown. Uh, all the kids go back to school uh, this week uh, in two days' time, um, which is also wonderful. Uh, wonderful more so for uh, parents, I think, more so than kids in a way. Um, but yeah, so we're looking forward to that. I'm sure the kids are looking forward to getting back and seeing their mates uh, at school as well. Right, okay, now we can just uh, follow along and we'll see how successful this is going to be. But yeah, so we're, um, I'm, I'm back at the office full time, um, so yeah, it's, it's good. So I, a lot of normality is sort of coming back to, to the state. Um, in relation to that, so it's um it's good in many regards, but uh, still got a few anti-vax idiots and stuff like that running around. But hey, that's just what we're going to have. But um, yeah, looking looking forward to being able to do a few more things, including just going shopping when we want to, just for the sake of going shopping, I guess. Um, not that that really bothers me too much. I'm not one that wanders around shops to just browse. Um, but uh, just just the fact we can do that would, is going to be nice. So, all right, let's uh, see how poorly we did. No, not too bad, I think. All right, back we go. But yeah, anyway, 
So, where are we at now? We're, uh, in fact, I might just uh, speed time up a bit more. I think 15 times at the moment is, is okay until we're busy. Like, busy with uh, harvesting and straw picking up and all that sort of stuff. I think 15 times is probably going to work just as well for us at the moment just to get through stuff. We haven't got a lot of fields um, and we, we are going to use uh, coarse play and, and hide help as, as we need to. So, um, so yeah. I think I think 15 times should be fine. Uh -huh. The other 1050 slipping. What the hell is he doing? You have to go and check on him. Oh no, maybe he's not. Has he finally fixed himself? Uh, seems to be having some problems. I think we should go there and have a look. See what's going on with him. Right, so how... Seriously, how did you get in there? <laughs> right so this is not an ad advertisement for how good course play can be this is an advertisement for how bad course play can be um how the hell has it got itself in there seriously um all right there's only other thing i can do for that f11 uh da, 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 da. where is it There we go. So we've we've just uh, got. Here. I want to know how the hell he got himself over there. I mean, seriously, the the course play course is not that hard. How the hell did you manage to get yourself over there? Seriously. Right. Um, turning circle. Let's have a look at this lane offset. Uh, turn on field activated. Void fruit activated. That's fine. Um, advanced settings. Let's do that. Um, okay. All right. Now we'll see how things go. I still don't understand how the hell he managed to get over there. That's just beyond ridiculous. But anyway. All right. So we'll line ourselves up in here. He's a bit offset in here. And start course uh, course at next nearest waypoint. Uh, drive course. And we'll see. He's going to pick himself up. Right. Now, hopefully, we won't have a screw up like that again. Right. Consider yourself admonished. Right. Back over to what we were working on. Okay. And we will continue. Oh, let's just make sure I've got my guide. Yes, I do. All right. Let's continue on. Right. Hide help is hard to find, isn't it? Good hide help. Anyway. Uh, we're going to put cruise control on. There we go. Anyway, I hope all of you are well <clears throat> uh, and dealing with uh, whatever you're forced to deal with at the moment. I know other areas of, of the world aren't dealing quite so well. I mean, uh, the UK, I think, is now going through a sudden wave or third wave, uh, effectively. Um, and and it's, it's just one of the things with living with the with the disease, isn't it? Or the, the in the pandemic, in the fact that. Um, most of the countries now have, have realised and just adopted the 
well, we'll have to live with it. Uh, and the, the best thing to help us to live with it and to deal with it is, um, is to be fully vaccinated. And, uh, and that's what most countries, I think, are doing. So um, it's, uh, it's just something we need to consider and, and deal with on the way through. So... Um, I, I think, I think as a country, I think we're we're close to eighty percent. Oh, we've got a couple of states that are lagging behind, but certainly uh, New South Wales and Victoria, um, I think now are both at eighty percent fully vaccinated, um, which is which is good. Um, and and people are just uh, accepted the fact that they just need to have that vaccination, not not to stop them from getting COVID, but just to. Uh, mitigate and minimize the, the the seriousness if you do ca catch the uh the disease or the the bug so to speak um but also to also minimize the spread as well um so by reducing the seriousness and reducing the spread that's what's going to help combat it i mean really i mean that's what pneumonia vaccine does isn't it it's it's not a it doesn't cure you from getting the cold or pneumonia it just minimizes uh the effects and the transmissibility um, you'll get so so this will probably just end up being similar to what we've had with pneumonia it'll be like a the yearly flu jab um, and it'll incorporate the covid uh, vaccine as well and and then that's uh that's how we deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis so anyway I'm not going to preach in relation to covid i have my opinions you have yours and that's all well and good but at the end of the day, uh, it's just something we're going to have to live with, irrespective of what your opinion is. So it's not going away anytime soon. All right. So let's not worry about COVID now. Let's just worry about getting our seed in the ground. The oil temp's still at 5 degrees. Uh, ambient air, 8 degrees, which is fine. We'd like it to come up to 10 degrees so we can get some soybeans in as well, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. In fact, what we might do, I'm going to up it to 30, because really, we've got plenty of time on our hands at the moment. And instead of just fast forwarding of a night, um, well, I mean, fast forwarding at a night anyway, but um, we can just get through the days while we're actually working, so it sort of makes sense. Anyway. Another lane done. And off we go again. I haven't done too bad. I haven't missed much that I can see. So I think... Uh, I've done a reasonable job of seeding <laughs> until we see until, until we see the uh, the seed propagate and we've got these gaping holes over the place I didn't see. Hmm. So we are getting closer and closer to the FS twenty two uh, release date. Um, where what? Um, one month away, four weeks effectively from today. Um, so it's 23rd of, of October. It's releasing on the 22nd of November. I believe for Australia that'll actually be the 23rd of November. Um, so, so yeah, it's uh, one month away. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it in this episode. I think I said enough about it in the last episode. But um, looking forward to seeing what it's going to bring. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the game in its entirety itself but looking forward to what it will bring and um, whether we have any improvements um, the hype is real I suppose um, but oh, I'm gonna miss this mess this one up um, but uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what happens try to be too smart then and try and do it all on the fly instead of stopping All right. 
So we're about halfway, I guess. Just shy of halfway. Building the uh, field in the field. We're halfway of building the field. No, halfway of planting the field. Right, we're not going to do something silly like that. We'll just make sure we are lined up. Because I was going to stuff that one up as well. <clears throat> Alright. Now what we have to do is try and fix up the stuff up the other end. Because we, we definitely did stuff that up. No, we got to 12 degrees today. It's gone past midday. Temperatures are rising. Now I've got no idea on whether we're going to get any snow or not on this map. <clears throat> like I said, we've just used the default seasons. Haven't got a geo running. Um, just because I just couldn't be bothered going to search for one that I wanted that was going to do what I wanted to do. Um, so we're just going to deal with the default. And uh, we'll see what that brings us. But snow is turned on. We have got the ability for snow to, to, to fall and, and accumulate turned on. So um, if it gets cold enough, we'll, we'll probably most likely get some snow. Come back, we'll clean that patch up a little bit later. Alright, and off we go again. Now, I do want to go fix the animals as well. I did say that, didn't I? Um, give them some feed, make sure we don't lose any more sheep. So, uh, we might do that at the end of the episode. Although, then, you know, I don't know if my silo is working, so that, that might be a bit of a problem. Um, I really don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> A little bit worrying to be honest if I can't unload my trucks into the silo but um yeah I really don't know what's going on so I did remap all the controls for the steering wheel after the last episode when it I realized it wasn't working so um yeah so I don't know what is going on to be honest in that regard Right, what we might do is I might go and uh, pack all them away. Right, so let the hide hand run from here. There he goes. Right, now we're going to go and uh, deal with the animals. All right. I'm going to find our trailer, which is just here. I'm going to get some hay and some straw. And we'll take it to the sheep. And then uh, we'll see what happens. See whether I can offload into the silo as well.
Okay, I'll take a little bit of straw first. Shouldn't need too much. <clears throat> Alright, great demand at Fenton Mill, that's not going to help us. So remembering the sheet pen for this map from Stevie for his latest maps uh, incorporates manure and straw, so using straw in the uh, the shed and then the manure is collected at the collection point where the conveyors are. Um, so uh, should be no surprise to anyone, that's what's happening. All right, let's uh, put this in and then we'll... Oh, let's, let's hope I can unload. Maybe it's just a global unloading problem. Uh, what am I doing? The straws around the other side. No, that's where the straw goes, wasn't it? Um, okay. Hmm. Maybe it overrides his sheep pen. All right, let's go offload this. If it, I've got the option to offload these in the silos to first, just to make sure, because uh, some of the silos will take some straw. Uh, right. Okay, so I'm not... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's fine. That works. So, it's obviously my, um... Maybe just the button on the steering wheel. No, because I did try the, uh, the keyboard as well for the truck at the silo. So let's go to the silo and we'll see if we can offload this in the, in the main silo. And then we'll have to check to see if it's a, tra a particular trailer problem with those Wilsons. But I can't see that happening all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, you know, it will, we'll find it in that way. Not getting a trigger. Maybe, actually, let's have a quick look. I'm going to see. Uh, oops, gamepad controls. Have a quick look. You can see if I've. You can tell me if I've done something wrong. Dump. Oh, hang on. Delete that. Unload. Right, that should that should be fine. I think that's what it might have been. I had an incorrect key or command. Uh, yes, save. Come on, it takes so long to save. I don't know why. Bum, 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 bum. Come on. Thank you. Right. Now we'll try it. No, it still can't do it from that button on the steering wheel. That's weird. Uh, but I can do it from the keyboard. Right. So obviously I've got a problem with uh, mapping of some sort. So anyway, forget about that. We're going to grab some grass. We're going to take some grass in and see if we can get some grass into the sheep or some hay. I might just take some hay. I think I've got hay there. Uh, and we'll go from there because um, some funky things happening. I mean, that may be part and parcel of us um, converting the game from non-season to seasons part way through, although I've never had this problem before because I have done it before um, numerous times. But we'll offload some, see if we can offload some grass and, uh, and go from there.
Let's, I'll check with you why, because it's still it's going to need straw still. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. We will work it out off camera because we're at that time of the day where it's time to say goodbye. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you see more stuff ups like this. Um, I'm not even getting right. Let me have a look. What's going on with the animals? The sheep. Ah. Oh. Well, where's all that come from then? It's just water. Okay. All right. So, yes. Please feel free to come and join us. <laughs> more stuff up. So, press that subscribe button. Or alternatively, press the... Uh, well, if you do press the subscribe button, also press that alarm notification icon. So, you can make aware when more videos like this are available on the channel. Then again, you might not want to. Um... <laughs> Don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and Facebook. Details are down below. And uh, we're going to go back and have a bit of a reset and scrub our head and find out what the hell we're doing. But, uh, yes, apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Pine Cove Farm. See you later. Bye.